Hey, what's up guys? Bob for BP Fishing. So today, or this morning, we are out at some local quarries. Uh, there's a bunch of different lakes. I've never been here before. Again, new territory for me. Um, but I'm going to throw some lines out in different spots, see what they're biting on, see where they're biting. Um, some of the shoreline is very easy to fish, very nice to fish. Some of it's a little bit more difficult, so we'll just have to kind of go through the whole process and figure out where we're at. But hopefully we get on some fish and uh, the rain stays away. We've had on and off rain, so see what happens. <laughs> There we go. Just you guys saw, just had it right there at the edge. Just bumping right through those weeds. First one of the day. Pretty good with that. I literally would obviously just cast right over by that tree limb sticking up out of the water and just came along right along this weed line and he was laying in there. There we go. Yes. It's a good one. Finally. That's a good one. Look at how pretty that is. He's fighting too. right in that weed bed. He's just hunkering down in those weeds. Look at that monster. I might have just broke my personal best. Look at that. Now that's a hog. Look at that fish. This is what I've been waiting for. You gotta be kidding me, 3.99. So it ties my personal best pretty much. Look at that fish, guys. Look at that mouth. Four pound large mouth. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Come on, baby. There you go. There you go. Go on. Go swim away. There you go. So that one was caught on this floating rattle trap. With it being so weedy and everything like that here, I can't use the traditional rattle trap, and I love those things. Um, so I've got this floating one. Uh, it'll float and it'll dip down about a foot below the water. So if you've got a lot of weeds on the bottom, this is perfect for, uh, you know, kind of running across the top of the weeds. There we go. Another good one. Another good bass. He's just pulling that drag, baby. Come on. I don't know how big he is. I mean, he feels huge. And he's pulling that drag. He looks big. Looks like I hooked him on the right on the side of his mouth. 
Yeah, he's nice. Not as big as the other one, but probably two and a half pounds. Yeah, he's fat. Three and a half pounds. That's a nice fish. So that was an absolute blast going out and checking out some new territory, hitting these quarries. I hadn't been to these quarries in a very long time. I'd never been there to fish, just to hang out as a teenager. So it's been a very, very long time. Um, but the quarries, uh, it's a different area. Uh, you've got multiple different quarries back there. Some of them are full of weeds, uh, very shallow, and then some of them are super, super deep. So depending on where you go, um, you have different things you got to fish and you kind of got to know what to throw. Uh, in different areas. Uh, it wasn't an absolute amazing day, but it was a good day as far as the quality of the fish, um, which was a great thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed the content. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, everything that I use for bait and catch fish on, I put links down below so you guys can instantly go on there and uh, purchase whatever the fish are hitting on. So I appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to you soon.